This is your weather authority. Fox 8 News at 530. Good evening and welcome back. I'm John Snell. And I'm Nancy Parker. Now that the first round of the congressional race is over, the battle over who will be the next U.S. Senator from Louisiana takes center stage. Two-term incumbent Mary Landrieu faces off with challenger John Kennedy. The Baton Rouge debate today was full of testy exchanges. Rob Messon has the story. John and Nancy, the challenger and the incumbent agreed on very little during an hour and a half debate, which was peppered with verbal attacks. One comes from a long line of Louisiana Democrats. Hey, man, how are you? The other is a recent convert to the Republican Party. Good morning, gentlemen. And at a Baton Rouge Press Club forum, they appeared to have little in common. Did Clout make those levees work in New Orleans? Has Clout fixed those levees yet? Has Clout fixed our coastline? Landrieu says with her help, the money's coming. One billion dollars of that money is coming to the Gulf Coast and 500 million dollars is in the hands of Louisiana now. There was plenty of name calling. If you like the way things are going in Washington, D.C., then you'll probably want to vote for Senator Obama and Senator Landrieu. While Kennedy attacked Landrieu over her so-called liberal voting record, Landrieu went on the attack against Kennedy for his party switch from the Democrats to the Republicans. So while I have stood solidly in the middle, this man has jumped from office to office. The candidates also disagreed on Iraq. If I knew what I knew now, that there were no weapons of mass destruction, there was no imminent threat to the United States, I would not have voted for the use of force. While Kennedy defended the war, he admitted to some flaws. Lord knows we made some mistakes in Iraq. Um, we dismantled the Ba'ath Party. As for the bailout, both are opposed, but again, no agreement. What they did was take off all of the capital requirements for big banks and allow them to become bigger, unbridled, and unregulated. So before John Kennedy criticizes others for not watching uh, the bank accounts, he should watch the ones that he's responsible for. Don't look for this political skirmish to end soon. Senator Landrieu, and I say this respectfully, has accepted over $200,000 in campaign contributions from both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac employees. The chicken, or rather the fox, cannot guard the hen house. But since he says he's not confused, I can only think he's an opportunist. The election is still one month away. A recent Rasmussen poll gives Landrieu the edge over Kennedy. The two will debate three more times before the November 4th election. Back to you.